Hey, I'm Angie. And I'm Ryan. And we're Happy, Happy Healthy Vegan. <laughs> so a bunch of viewers have written to us asking to respond to this video putting out by this large YouTube channel, All Time Tens. They make lists of top 10 things and they so make YouTube. one here about the top 10 reasons vegans are destroying the planet. And apparently these guys are popular. They have over 5 million subscribers. Yeah. So hundreds of thousands of people are going to see this crazy video of theirs. I see. And let's show exactly what's wrong. I've seen the video. I have not seen it. So you're going to get my like spontaneous uh, okay. reactions, I guess. <laughs> so uh, let's a reaction video. Let's start off with their first reason here. Oh boy. Environmental footprint. Eating lettuce is over three times worse in terms of greenhouse gas emissions than eating bacon. Oh, seriously? <laughs> like face bomb. Like considering that animal agriculture is responsible for over half of all greenhouse gas emissions, this is a pretty bold claim. Lettuce Extremely versus bold. bacon. Let's see how they reason this. This is because lettuce has so few calories, around 15 calories a leaf. So someone would need to eat two whole iceberg lettuces to even get close to the equivalent calorie intake of two rashes of smoked bacon, around 200 calories. Wait a minute. So is this guy actually intimating that vegans only eat lettuce or salads? It's like our primary source of calories, like a whole meals of 500 calories of lettuce. Ah! Uh, I am so sick of people thinking that all vegans eat is salad. WTF! And even so, when I do have a salad, it's not just made out of lettuce, bro. There's like tomatoes, avocado, seeds, different types of fruit, all kinds of things that would actually give you the more calories that this bacon would give you. Give me a break. It's kind of constructing a straw man here. Very totally. few people, vegans or otherwise, will construct a salad of hundreds of calories as their there's their meal and second a meal of only lettuce yeah, only lettuce Second, only iceberg secondly is he saying only vegans eat lettuce that's patently untrue <laughs> i mean we see all the time that you know the like gluten-free paleo people they have salad with steak on it <laughs> So this argument I sucks. And here's further reason why this guy's argument sucks. A vegan diet produces half as much CO2 as an American omnivore, uses 1 11th the amount of fossil fuels, 1 13th the amount of water, and an 18th of the amount of land. After adding this all up, I realized I had the choice every single day to save over 1,100 gallons of water, 45 pounds of grain, 30 square feet of forested land, the equivalent of 20 pounds of CO2, and one animal's life. And that's from Cowspiracy, the movie. Kip. And here are the resources supporting those claims. The leafy vegetable is also far more likely to perish before it reaches the dinner table, with the food waste further increasing its emissions footprint. Again with the salads? Oh, I can't with this guy. How many times is he going to perpetuate the myth that vegans only eat salads? Okay, what's the deal? Like, he's complaining about salad or lettuce because it will perish sooner than, like, preservative-filled bacon? Come on. Give me a freaking break. Number nine, crazy hormones. The soy bean is the symbol of the vegan lifestyle. Really? Really? So it's salads and soy. This guy is so 1980s, by the way. But this little legume has a dark side. Soybeans naturally contain anti-nutrients such as phytoestrogens. Phytoestrogens can mimic estrogen in the body, causing a chain reaction of hormone imbalances in males and females. Well, that sounds really scary. It does. So scary that I made a video about this very topic last week. <laughs> Let's see what's up with these scary phytoestrogens. That's one of the reasons why soy food consumption appears so protective against breast cancer, because soy phytoestrogens like genistein act as estrogen blockers. They block the binding of estrogens like estradiol to breast cancer cells. So Dave and Sally have it completely backwards. Eating soy is good for you. The estrogens found in soy are actually protective against breast cancer development. Boom! Well, too much soy in a man's diet has been linked to gynecomastia, male breast enlargement, and has been known to cause a loss of sexual desire. Okay, my first thought is, who the heck is this like man that they're showing, and does he really have anything to do with the ingestion I'm, of soy creating no, his, his man boobs? No, these guys are just using stock footage through most of this video. Really? That guy should sue. 
And again, let's address the issue, does soy cause man boobs? Let's look at this experiment that nutritionfacts.org discussed where they gave one group of men soy milk and another group of men not soy milk. <laughs> Interestingly, when they tried the same experiment in men, they got similar results, a significant drop in female hormone levels with no change in testosterone levels. And thus, there's no truth to the myth that if a man has soy, he will become more feminine. Just a plain, stupid, incorrect myth. <laughs> Your theory is poop. Number eight, California drought. Oh, God. Really? So somehow <laughs> veganism is responsible or worsening the California drought. Let's it's, check it's this our out. Fault, babe. Everyone's favorite, almond milk. But the super healthy nuts, mostly grown in drought hit California, need millions of liters of water to be produced. On average, it takes around five liters of water to grow one almond. And it also takes two and a half thousand gallons of water approximately to raise one pound of beef. And it turns out that most almond milk really only uses a couple of almonds. It's mainly water. water. California produces 82% of the world's almonds, and this all-year-round crop guzzles close to 10% of the area's agricultural water supply. Okay, 10% of California's water going to almond trees. But 50% of California's water goes for meat and dairy. Well, I did a video about this last year about how yeah. almond milk is making California into a desert, and I showed exactly where California's water is going to. Spoiler alert, not to almonds. University of California at Davis released this chart and it clearly shows where our water use is going as far as agriculture is. And look at it, these yellow and orange lines here, those are the crops that are grown specifically for animals to eat. Well, where are the almonds? They're hard to find. Well, you have to really look. They're the fourth line down combined with pistachios. Barely a drop in the bucket compared to alfalfa and forages. Almond milk has clearly been a scapegoat the last year or two. Yeah, it's absolutely clear that almond milk is not even close to being responsible for California's water woes. It's meat and dairy production. As always. Well, let's check out his next crazy argument about blood guacamole. What? Blood guacamole. Blood guacamole. Blood guacamole. Production of the crop that earned Mexico more than $1.5 billion in exports in 2016 is concentrated in the state of Michoacan and much of it is controlled by a drug cartel known as the Caballeros Templarios. What? Our avocados come from Southern California. They're California grown, like yeah. San Diego or closer. Meat eaters eat avocados too. Uh, yeah. Sorry, <laughs> people put guacamole on their meat burritos and tacos every day. Yeah, it's not like vegans subside solely How? on soy and avocados and lettuce. How is it our fault? What's going on with the drug cartel? That's crazy. If anything, it's a wake-up call for people to be more aware of where their food comes from. Number six, cancer and heart disease. A long-term vegetarian diet can alter human DNA, raising the risk of cancer and heart disease. All right, just stop right there, man. It's not even vegan. They found that populations who have had a primarily vegetarian diet for generations were far more likely to carry DNA, which makes them susceptible to inflammation. You said vegetarian. He didn't even say vegetarian, he said primarily Primary. vegetarian. And then he's saying the offspring of people who were primarily vegetarians. So we're not talking about vegans here. And furthermore, vegetarians consume dairy, and dairy is well known to lead to inflammation. Yeah, all these diseases. Yeah, because it's just basically liquid meat, as Rip Esselstyn often <laughs> Ew, refers I forgot to it. About that as term. all the same bad stuff that meat has just comes in liquid form. But yeah. his argument totally sucks because there's such a wealth of science showing that as far as heart disease and cancer goes, yeah. a whole food plant-based diet not only prevents, it reverses these diseases too. I mean, look here, this, these arteries here. Uh, yeah. if one is closed up, one is opened up a year or so later. That's from eating a whole food plant-based vegan diet. Number five, nutrient deficiency. Let me guess, protein? According to Dr. Frankie Phillips, a registered dietitian with the British Dietetic Association, vegans are less strong than meat eaters as they have weaker muscles due to a lower intake of amino acids, which generate muscle mass. Enough said. For those of you who don't know who that is, that's <laughs> Patrick Baboumian doing a world record lift, and by the way, he's fully vegan. <sighs> Mental health. In 2014, a controversial study by the Medical University of Graz 
concluded that those who adopt a vegan or vegetarian diet more susceptible to physical and mental disorders, they were also twice as likely to suffer from anxiety or depression. Oh, yeah, dealing with BS like this. Yeah, hearing this nonsense come from people all the time misrepresenting things, just flat out lying. Yeah, that does kind of get on your nerves and irritate <laughs> you after hearing this crap every day. Seriously, I mean, they say that vegans are forcing our lifestyle on them when the reality is as vegans we're constantly confronted by meat and dairy and egg stuff all day every day leather fur yada yada and we're supposed to keep our mouths shut of course it's going to produce some anxiety and depression Three, starving south america for those of you who've ever tried a vegan clean eating diet, you've probably consumed a whole lot of quinoa. But the hike in prices due to its increasing popularity in the Western world pushed the very people that farm quinoa out of their own marketplace. I mean, how stupid is this argument? It's not like only vegans are the only people in the world who eat quinoa. Not even remotely. In fact, quinoa seems to be the like the grain du jour for all the people that are afraid of gluten and starch. So it is not even remotely just a vegan food. Give me a break, dude. Children's health. Nutritionists have warned that infants who follow the diet are often leaner and smaller than those who eat meat. Well, like, that's a bad thing. I mean, this is such a stupid argument. Again, why is bigger automatically assumed to be better? In this case, it's not because approximately one out of three children are either overweight or obese. So yeah, if you're eating a healthy vegan diet, you will probably have a healthy body weight, which most children these days do not have. So this is a good thing. She further warned that this type of diet could lead to irreversible cognitive damage. And in the worst cases, claimed it can even result in death. Well, actually, being obese can lead to irreversible damage, <laughs> like diabetes and, and death. death. So, yeah, you got, you got nothing, bro. Number one, cashew burn. Many workers in the cashew industry have permanent damage to their hands. Drug addicts detained in former labor camps in Vietnam process cashews. Those who refuse to work are beaten with truncheons, given electric shocks. And that's vegans' <laughs> fault. How? How is yeah, that? I'll tell you exactly how. Because only vegans eat cashews. Oh, yeah, exactly. There's no one that eats meat during eggs that eats cashews. Yeah, when you go to Come Trader on. Joe's, you see the, the cashews there in the market. Vegans only. Only, mm -hmm. only vegans can purchase those. <laughs> Basically, Maybe that was his worst reason of all ten. Uh, seriously. I mean, that has nothing to do with veganism. Yeah, you know, I'm sure someone that's like really familiar with um, logic uh, arguments would know the word for that type of logical fallacy thing. I studied logic, obviously. Yeah. He's just full of crap. That's, <laughs> that's the technical term for that. Maybe a straw man at, at best, but he's just full of crap. Dude, I mean, the guy's like, this whole thing, he's trying to scare you with like some little truthiness, like these really bad things happen, but he's never been able to link it 100% to veganism. It's and, ridiculous. And particularly, he's never been able to link it with any like references, any solid science showing anything that he says is yeah, true. It's always from some stupid uh, magazine article, a news <laughs> article, which, you know, Ryan spends so much time Showing how many of these are industry articles. funded by you know, like meat and dairy industry to show that their products are good and the vegan products, the uh, healthy whole food plants are not healthy for yeah. you. So what we, what I've learned here is that only vegans eat cashews, almonds and almond milk, lettuce, and quinoa, soy. And, and soy. Yeah, those are only yeah, vegan foods. Only vegans eat those. Uh -huh. And also that's the only foods vegans eat, apparently. Yeah, this guy would know, right? Oh. Anyway, post your questions and comments down below. Did you see this video before we did our response video here? What did you think? How did you react? <sighs> You know, I think that the mental issue is coming up right now. The mental depression issue. I know. <laughs> yeah. Get pissed off seeing crap like this all the time. <laughs> so let's know if you have felt the same way. You got a little extra depressed from watching this crap. <laughs> oh, so man. hit like if you enjoy these debunking, these debunker type yeah. videos. And, um, and send yeah. me some good vibes. I need it right yeah, now. Yeah, we all could use it right now after this vibes. nonsense. I know. Knock, knock. So until next time. Keep, keep it car, car baby, baby keep, keep it, it car, car.
<laughs> <laughs> All right. Number eight, California. 